What's up guys? Welcome back to the Dusty Fish Company. I'm Dusty. I am in, uh, I'm in Louisiana. I uh, just got out here. I was offshore fishing this morning. If you missed that red snapper video, my offshore video, go stop right now, go back, watch that video, and then I'll have this one linked back at the end of it. You don't want to miss that when it rolls right into this one. But finished offshore fishing, drove five hours for a three hour drive with like eight freaking traffic jams. And uh, I am here with Kevin from Salty Bottom Outdoors. We got the boat hooked up and at 3 a.m. tomorrow, we are headed out and we're gonna have some fun. So stay tuned for that. Make sure y'all smash that like and subscribe button. Make sure you head over to Kevin's channel, Salty Bottom Outdoors. Salty Bottom Outdoors, baby. I'm gonna have it linked in the description below as well. We got some big stuff coming. You don't wanna miss it. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, we made it out here. We are in the Biloxi Marsh. We are on the north end, northeast end. North, basically, almost almost the northernmost tip. We are on the northernmost tip of the Biloxi Marsh. Just made a 30, 40 minute run across Lake Bourne. We are getting set up to work this shoreline. But before that, check out this sunrise. It is absolutely stunning. It was amazing coming across the lake. I'm going to get the camera hooked up, get the rod ready, and uh, let's catch some fish. Just constant hitting me. Little Bye. baby. Mine was itty bitty. You brought one to the boat? Yeah, I just threw him back. Okay. 11 and a half, maybe. Yeah, you know, it's first fish of the day, little speckled trout. Let's get him. Oh, here we go. There he is. Another little one. He's not huge, which is not exactly what we want. Oh, that one's bigger. That's a bigger fish. I keep losing them. That's that's a bigger fish. That's a nice trout. If it is a trout, I feel head shake. There we go. But he's staying down. Oh, he spit it. All right, guys, everybody's throwing a popping cork, so I decided to switch up. I got my LKO rod, I've got a slammer jig, and I'm throwing the hoodwink for the first time in Louisiana for me. Look how we come up on possibly a little feeding frenzy here. Kevin's throwing top water. I'm throwing the jig. Ed's throwing a cork. Oh, 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 I just got smacked. Kevin's got something chasing this top water right now. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a trout, too. There he is. First top water hookup in a while, and it feels so good. He might be a keeper. He's going to be close. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Easy, boys. First keeper in the box today on the Rapala Skitter Walk. Good thing he's a keeper. He's dead either way. All right, guys. Kevin is on a killer topwater bite. Ed just switched to topwater. I'm still throwing the jig because I got smacked hard and they tore up my plastic. So I had to throw a new plastic on real quick. And I'm uh, going to get back out here. Oh, oh, oh that was a nice one. <laughs> Ed, you're getting chased too. He's not a nice one. He just they're hitting it so hard they feel like monsters. This one's not even keeping. He just absolutely smoked it, man. So scared of these troubles. There we go. Dusty's hooked up. All right, damn it to hell. <laughs> All right, a little small. See you, buddy. What slot here? Twelve, 12 for now back on the table to move it to 14 and a half I think Dude, they're taking out the best size trout oh here we go now he'll keep right next to the boat hey guys 12 and a half inch trout oh, yeah. my first keeper going in the box okay there he is there he is he came back for it three times I don't think he's gonna keep. If he does, he's a little skinny. He's going back in there. Woo! He is not happy. I wouldn't be either. He's got treble hook in his gut. Ooh. There he is. Ooh, Doubled up. No. Tripled up. Oh, he spit it. We both got spit. Nice little early morning action going on here, guys. This is the kind of action you come out to Louisiana for. We just need to find the bigger guys. I'm gonna cast this way over here. Oh, oh. yep, he's on. Oh, oh, God. You lost your balance on the hook set. Yeah. Okay. And I'm finally recording. You weren't recording her? I missed like three hook, three fish. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. There he is. There he is. All right. That's another nice fish. I think we got away from these schoolies, boys. The problem is, I'm having, a I'm having to measure all mine. Yeah, he'll make it. Ooh. Yeah. That's a decent one. Nah, he's right on the line. Yeah. We kept him 14, you didn't put him up. Well, 
<laughs> that was we. Oh, there he is. But I've been wanting Dusty to get a glimpse of because Dusty is a top water hater. Big time top water hater. Look at this. Every pass. I mean, every pass. And you get to watch me. Well, I've watched you throw top water for a year, and this is the first time I've seen you catch a fish. It's so worth it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I made a quick change up. Uh, I was slaying them on the hood wing from Southern Salt. I'll drop a, uh, my discount code below with a link to their website. I did switch up to a mirror lure Lil John. I want to give this a shot, a little more aggressive bait and see what happens. Good. They're off to our left. Oh. You know? so you, they might, I mean, they could all be through all the day. I was coming up and putting them on our left. They're out here. Uh, we're good, we're good. We're clear. Ooh. Got a hit? Yep. No, I'm saying I did too. There he is, way out there too. Spot there we go. Dusty got hit right next to the boat. Oh, get out of there. Yep. Hi, guys. Moral of the story is this school of trout really doesn't care what you throw at them. Thanks. Everything we're throwing is getting smacked. What's the depth, it? Five, five, four. See if the are holding. Now we keep her going in the box. Look at that box already, guys. We've been out here for 20 minutes. You'd have seen more of the box, but I wasn't recording. Well, this is going to be an easy video to edit. <laughs> That's oh. what I was thinking, too. <laughs> there he goes. Did you puke? Kind of my damn not Hey, you know, the problem is you just drag it. Language. Oh, there he is. Little dink. Little dink. Let's go. Next cast. Oh, get down, bird. He was right next to the boat. Look, he just Yeah, I saw right him. Oh. Every Where you at? single oh, cast, guys. We're across each other. But I'm, I'm oh, there we go. I'm six feet above you. Oh, spit it right there. Look at this top water, guys. There, I mean, this is the type of top water you come for. This this makes all the days where you don't catch much on top worth it. This is stupid top water action. There he is. Oh. Dude, I love this new LKO rod. This thing is sweet. I, I want to throw it at some point today. Not while the action Oh, there we go. Not while the action is fast. You enjoy it. But I would like he's still to on? Him. Yeah, he's still on. He came out the boat, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right there. Quick release. Next. That really got smoke looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Did my battery die? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm on. My battery just died. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You go to quick change. That's another keeper. Oh, crap. I need to spin this camera around. I'm getting all the Ed catching fish back here. I catch it. Head, more slack in your line, real slower. There he goes. I'm gonna throw you a course, it's easier to work with. Mm -hmm. Actually, it won't matter. I Quick gotta, release. I gotta keep it, keep it Might have to measure him. I am. Just to make sure. Nah, he's pretty close. He's like an eighth over. He was fat for being little. Yeah. I literally, I think uh, he came off. No, he's just tiny. All right, guys, Kevin's hooked, or he, he's hooked up. I'm hooked up. I threw, in, I threw in right behind him. I'm hooked up. Let's go, baby. This is barely twice Oh, that's a bigger trout. Come on. Net worthy or? Nah, he's just bigger than the 12s I've been catching. <laughs> coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. Come right on up and in. There he goes. That's a better trout. Let's see. That's a nice one. 16? 15, 16? Hey, I don't think poles are holding. calm yourself. There we go, guys. My first, uh, my first really decent trout of the day. Get a quick measure up on him. 16 or 15. That's a Florida trout. 16 inches? I think that's a big one. I've caught a couple that are 14 and a half, 15. That was a hit. 
step one way or the other. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I see it. Birds are after. Ooh! I'm gonna catch a bird today. Hey, if you haven't that much trouble with the top water, I just throw the court, man. You're missing so many. You're missing a lot of. Oh, right next to the boat! Oh, that's gonna make good footage. That's gonna make good footage. That's another keeper. There we go, I'm on. Keeper's just flying over the gun. <laughs> Doubled up again, baby. Ed, I would throw a jig or a cork if I was you. Little bitty, little bitty. Quick release. That's a, uh, that's, what is that, a white trout? That's a white trout, no, no size limit. Yep. They ain't got much on them. Yeah. Little white trout, guys, another species on the day. Get him back. This is some freaking awesome action right here. Now, white trout are really good eating, but a little bit bigger. They don't get very big. Like a big white trout is like 14, 15 inches. Right. I let that sink more toward the bottom and found him. Ed's got him one. Dude, they have to be fighting over it down there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Another one. Another one. Yep, yep, another one on top. Stay down. Don't jump. We don't we don't we don't like jumping with top water. Oh. Hey dude, I saw your line jet. Yep. Dusty missed one literally. Like, yeah, he hit right at the boat. Oh, guys, this is going to be a hookup right here. This is going to be a stud hookup right here. Oh, there he is. Yep. I cast right over where Dusty just got one. That's a, be uh, that's a better fish. And I just got blown up. This LKO rod is sweet, dude. It is nice. You felt way bigger in the water. I just missed one. Ed's on again. Found the schools. Dusty's been weeding through the schools. The bigger ones are definitely coming on top right now. That's that's kind of normal though. Big lures, big baits, big fish. Generally, I have. I'm trying to work mine higher up. See what happens. It's got a big blow up. Big blow up. Knocked it out the water. Oh, he hit it right at the boat. Come on. Hit. Right here. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> That's awesome. What was that, Ed? I don't know, but it, I got a hit. I'm going to do that again, guys. Right I here wonder, at the boat. I wonder if that was bait that ran into your line. Right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. He hit it again. Come on. Right here. Uh, He's playing with him. Come on. Cast right where those birds just dipped it. Nope. All right. He got tired of playing with me. I'm gonna have to change my battery soon. What? I didn't get a hit on a cast? What is this? I know, it's... What is this? How dare they? We got, we got fish flopping on the deck of the boat. We got fish flopping in the cooler. There's shrimp jumping out the boat everywhere. You know I... I out the boat, out the water. I willed this into existence for us. You know that, right? Oh, fish on. Two days ago, I said I'm tired of eating trout, so look what we're slaying. Oh, come on, oh, baby. Nice one, dude. Yeah, he is. That's a Quick release there. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, oh come on. Golly, this action. Dude, I'm come on. I'm casting yeah, right I mean, over. I ain't even got my bail closed and it snatched it out of my hand. Oh, come back. Oh, yeah. It got him another one. Top water oh, bite. Oh, come slowing. on. Top water bite slowing a little bit. There you go. Oh, God, he ran straight sideways with it. Come on, baby. Grab it again. I just said top water bite is slowing and I got one. Smoked it. Right here by the boat, guys. Right here by the boat. Here he comes. There he is. There he is. Yep. He, got, he spit it. it. <laughs> wow. Finally pulled the pants down on the little jaw. I'm glad I made the switch. Yeah. I love throwing that hoodwink. But... Oh, that was a bigger trout. Oh, there we go. He spit it. All right. Oh, he's chasing it. Come on. Right here by the boat. There he is. Right under the boat. Oh, spit it again. <laughs> These guys are so much fun. Don't step back, buddy. I got a compartment open. I'm throwing fish in the box. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Ed. All right. Southern salt, hoodwink, glow bone. And I'm changing tactics up. Everybody else is either throwing jigs or torques. Keeper, Ed? Nah. No. There he is. Fish all around us. Yep. Little bitty. Flashy swimmer. This oh, white here. trout. Oh, I gill hooked him. Yeah. 
Let's Let's put that on. Any reason you want to save him for cut bait? I don't know. All right. They're still smashing top water here. There we go. This is a flashy swimmer. Hook, an owner flashy swimmer. I'll put a picture, something like that in here so you can see what it is. The Southern Salt Hoodwinks, remember code SALT, SALTY10. I'll leave the probe with my god. Oh, that's a bigger that's a fish. Red. That's a red. I think I got a red on. No. What the heck? Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why. That was a red. I saw the red. I yeah. literally saw the red. Yeah, look, I brought him in backwards. That's why he's, That's why he felt so dang big. That's not good. Look at this poor guy. <laughs> he's got a second butthole. That was why he felt so freaking massive. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Another trout. That Kevin just saw a red. There's reds in here. I saw a nice one, dude. He was probably 30 inches. Well, you said that right as I foul hooked him and he felt heavy and I'm like, oh, please, come on, baby. We had a little lull in the action real quick. I'm gonna walk you through what I'm using. I've got my new LKO rod. It is a fast action medium rod. I've got 15 pound True Braid. I'll have uh, my promo code and the link for True Braid in the description. I absolutely love this stuff. Run into 15 pound leader. Overcast Lure Company Slammer Jig, and right now I'm throwing the Little John from Mirror Lure. Oh, come on. Spin it right there, quick release, quick release. A little, a little trout on the fat, flashy swimmer and hood wing. That's what, that'll keep though. Who's got more keepers in the boat, Dusty? Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he saw him. I did. He he knocked it out of the water. Oh God! I'm gonna get a seagull today. I swear. One of us is going to us. I'm telling you. Seagull catching cook. Maybe. Moving. They're not staying in one spot. That they're, they're not schooled up really tight. There you go. They're kind of all over. Oh, go! Get right. Yeah, get over right by me. I just got smacked like five times. All right, already cast over here. All right, guys, I burned through a battery in like 30 minutes. I'm gonna change it and we're gonna get right back to it. The fish are still biting. It's only like 8 a.m., not even 8 a.m. What is it, 7.30? Uh, 7.23. 7.23 and I'm almost halfway through a freaking gallon. It is hot. I'm almost halfway through a 65 quart Arctic. All right, guys, the trout bite stopped like Bud Light sales. So we're gonna push up on the uh, shoreline and start, tra start chasing redfish. Let's go. Oh, that's what it looks like when it doesn't flex forward. That's what it looks like when it doesn't fall off the freaking boat. I can't believe this would happen, dog. Yeah. So we pushed up against the shoreline here, and we're fishing this rose cane in front of us. Uh, we've jumped off the trout bite, and now we're looking for redfish, which was our game plan first thing this morning. And then, uh, the trout yeah, the trout just kind of uh, appeared in front of the boat and said, come here. So poor choice of wording, but we came. When the fishing gods give you fish, you take it. <laughs> I can already see why this was, uh, why somebody said this. Alright guys, a little life lesson here. Don't litter our waterways. Nice catch. Oh. Still had Dr. Pepper in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, don't litter your buddy's boat. All right, y'all, we made a, about a 20 minute run and we finally came into a bayou here that's got some good moving water going around this bend and it's deep right off that point. It was what, 20 foot? Yeah. 20 foot deep right here in front of me off this point. There's a drain right here. We got the intersection. So we got quite a few things going on. There's bait busting everywhere. So uh, we're gonna stop and drop a line here for a couple minutes, see what we can get hooked into besides these horse flies. good sign though. Oh shit, I'm sitting here watching this dude. <laughs> All right guys, we stopped for a second so Kevin could uh, re-rig oh, and the only one to re -rig. we were just to tossing lines out, goofing off and uh, ended up hooking a little speckled trout here. Oh, well maybe. No, if it's trout, it's gonna be smaller. Can't unhook him. Yeah, the big ones are. Sorry dude. There he is right there. Later bro. It is uh it has been a struggle bus today guys. We uh we had that huge trout bite earlier and I think we've run 25 30 miles since then. We've hit four or five spots. See, we caught all those fish this morning and 111 inch trout and look at the deck. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's all from that one little trout. Yeah, yeah. Poor little guy. <laughs> Hey. But uh, we're pushing back into this little pond here and we're going to be hunting for reds or more trout. So uh, hopefully we can get back on another bite here. All right, guys, while we're pushing up into this pond, I kind of switched up a little bit. I got my uh, new Old Salty inshore rod. Shout out to Favorite Rods. They heard about me losing my rod in the tornado and they sent me a new one for free. And uh, Alex over at True Braid hooked me up with uh, some brand new braid and their new patriotic color that they just came out with. I'll have all the information for both of those companies linked in the description. Throwing four horseman cork, death grip jig head, and I got a matrix shad on right now. Ooh. And I'm opening my bail. It's, it's easier to cast if you do, buddy. All right, cast up in that bin. Oh, God. Oh, I'm on. Instantly, instantly on. Bass. Bass? Nice bass. Nice one too. Green trout. Oh. Another species. Yeah. I promise if you calm down, your situation could get better. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, you want bass, Ed? I'm not keeping anything unless I catch a redfish. You don't want a bass? You want the bass? Yeah. All right, guys. New species on the day, a little largey there. Get him back. I don't know if he's on my 23 catch list or not. I don't know if I've caught one this year. Well, All right, I'm gonna get him. Let's get him back. Oh my God, that's a toad. All right, y'all, so what we're doing is we're in the back of this big pond. The Wrigley's is right out here. There's a pond back here that's draining through this little drain right here. And uh, we've got cleaner water coming through here into the dirty water. And uh, we've already pulled three fish out of here in the last probably four minutes. So uh, it's a neat little spot right here. We're going to keep pushing it. Guys, this is one thing I love about fishing Louisiana. This big old 22 foot boat's about to go through uh, this ditch. So I'm just hanging out on the back of the boat because as you can see, uh, there's not really any room for me to fish right now. So uh, I'm just waiting for one of them to break off and then I'll jump up there. On your line. All right, guys, I finally got a spot up here on the front of the boat and I get to fish this cutout. Guys, this is what we call close quarters combat. My cork's on the left, Ed's cork's on the right, Kevin's was in the middle. Ed's cork's on the bank. Eddie Banks. Mine's perfectly placed. Eddie Banks, everybody. Well. Just toss it on out there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's gonna hit something. Oh like yeah. Bass. If there's a redfish in there, it sounds like Normandy Beach. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like that shoreline in Stewart. I'm about ready to call it, clean some fish, and go stare at some Hooters girls. I'm with you on two of the three. You're not going to Hooters? He's not gonna help us clean fish. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all actually go in there? Yeah, yeah. I got all the way in there, turned look. around, and came back out. He said. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I said, at least let the wind die down so it doesn't push you. Wind and all, okay? Over here. You took we, this boat through that cut. We had it to better. go through there, turn around, turn and, around and come out. back out. God. And when we set the power poles, they were both on land. I told you. All right, y'all, no luck. We pushed back in that bayou. We didn't have any luck after uh, the two bass and the one speckled trout. So uh, we blew back out of there. And we're gonna work the shoreline all the way around to the Rose cane over here, right behind Kevin's big head. And uh. Then we're gonna push out of here. Yeah, but they can't see my head on camera. They've seen it in pictures. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap for us out here. Uh, we never found any redfish, did a lot of digging in ponds, cuts, drains, the whole nine yards. We jumped all over the place for them. No luck, but we did do pretty good on the trout this morning. We got on that good trout bite early. Uh, I'm gonna leave about four hours of the day out of this video because uh, after that trout bite, it was done. It got hot and we were out of it. Anyways, we are heading back to Kevin's house, doing a special cookout on the grill. You won't see that in this video. I'll have it linked at the end of this video. It's the video that's dropping right before this, my red snapper video where you'll see that cookout. So uh, if you haven't watched that one yet, go ahead and jump back and watch that video after you're done with this one. I'm Dusty, this is the Dusty Fish Company. I was out with Kevin, Salty Bottom Outdoors, and our fearless leader over here, What's up? Toughest guy I know today. 
and we are out. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'll see y'all on the next one. Take care.